It's day 20 with the Nokia Lumia 920, so I am two thirds of the way through my 30 day challenge, not just with Windows Phone 8, but with a Nokia device as well. It's been a while since I've done a 30 day challenge with a Nokia device. I'm Aaron Baker from PhoneDog.com, and in this day 20 update, I'll tell you the things I love about Windows Phone 8, the things I think need improvement, and the things just all around that either frustrate me or that I really enjoy. It's the day 20 update, and it starts right now. Day 20 with the Nokia Lumia 920, and let's talk about applications for a minute because that's the question I get most frequently on Twitter. If you do have a question, by the way, for the challenge, there are 10 days left. Hit me up on Twitter at phone dog underscore Aaron, and I'll do my best to answer your questions in one of the following videos for the 30 day challenge. But here we have the store, and of course, I've talked about this before. You have ATT featured in Nokia collection, but you know, there are a lot of things. Instagram, I can't talk and type at the same time. Insta. Whoops, Insta. Graham, and there is it's Dugram, but for example, Instagram has they have music, but they don't have the actual application itself. What they do have, Dugram, and I can't type sideways. D A G R A M, and then that application WP Graham pops up, and of course some Instagram stuff down through here. To Insta with love is that Nokia hashtag that you may have remembered from their social media stuff. But you know what? A lot of times the corporate applications aren't available on Windows Phone 8 in the store. And that's a challenge for people that really enjoy applications. And granted, you can go to the websites and take care of your business on the website in some cases, but still it's nice to have those applications to be able to download. So that's my biggest issue I have with Windows Phone 8. If I had to pick one thing out of 20 days of using this device, that's probably my biggest frustration is the fact that the quality of applications just isn't quite there. I've talked about it in previous videos with the American application, for example, still displaying the old logo, still displaying an older look and feel here, really not up to par in comparison to some of the other applications on the market. And that's kind of frustrating when you look at this and you think, okay, this phone's 100 bucks, I can get a similarly spec Android phone for 100 bucks as well, or maybe even a cheaper iPhone, an iPhone 4S, whatever the case may be. And I can get this cheap phone that's around the same cost as the 920 and get this incredible app ecosystem. So that's something to keep in mind and that's a challenge I would give Microsoft as they work to develop this app store. Really Really work on that because there are some great mid-range devices out there as well that are really competing for the buck. And at 99 bucks, there are quite a few that are competing. So overall, messages have been good. You know, I complained early on about the messaging and the way that the notifications pop up on the Windows Phone 8 devices. And overall, I've gotten used to it. It's not the best by any stretch of the imagination. It could be a little bit better. I don't like the fact that it pops up up here at top and that's it. I'd love to have some more notifications, but what I do like is, for example, when I get a text, it pops up up top, or if I'm at my lock screen, I can customize it. And I actually don't remember what I have it on right now, but I can customize where I get a couple of additional areas, or a couple of additional lines, if you will, for additional stuff. So for example, let's see, uh, what am I looking for? Let's go down here, lock screen, that's what I'm looking for. So screen timeout, I can choose my background, but then I have my app to show detailed status. So when messaging pops up and I get a new text message from mom, for example, or my fiance, it'll pop up right down here in the bottom below June 17th and say, new text message, hey, how are you? And I get the preview, or I could make that calendar, or I could make that Twitter, whatever the case may be, whatever's most important to me. So you do have more customization than you did in Windows Phone 7 and 7.5, but still has some work to do to compete with iOS and Android, where you can kind of customize your notifications, have them in the notifications, notification bar, have them in certain places on Android 4.2, you got the widgets if you so desire, and more. Overall, call quality has been pretty good on this device as well. Forgive me one second while I pull it away to make sure my history isn't there. I deleted it before I started the video, but you can see the dialer. Call quality is pretty good here. Just do a quick speakerphone test on camera so you can take a look at it. Let's go into speaker and let's turn it up. And like I've said in previous videos, I really enjoy the red also. Don't really have a whole lot of new stuff to report in this video. I'm just getting into the, the meat of using this device. So speakerphone's relatively loud here as well. I've gotten used to the size of the device. It is a little bit of a bigger device. That said, it fits well in the hand. It's easy to hold. 4.5 inches, a nice spot for a lot of people because travel across the screen is still pretty easy to do here, but not as big as the 5.5 inch Note 2 or Optimus G Pro. For example, email accounts still function pretty well. Email capabilities still second to none for me are on Android devices. And the reason why is because both PhoneDog and for my personal corporation, we use Gmail as the back end. So for me, obviously Android works a little bit better, but still, even without the Exchange support, actually I actually have Exchange support on my business, but I don't, ironically, on the PhoneDog side, that's something that's really nice on Android, but still not terrible by any stretch of the imagination over here on Windows Phone. Nokia Music continue to like this, and I actually, Go in here and show you a couple of different playlists if I haven't gotten rid of them already. Let's see, I think I did get rid of them. Let's create a mix so you can see what Nokia Music can do here. Create artist mix, Pat Green. Let's do 
Trisha Yearwood. And let's do uh, Billy Currington. And I can play a mix here, and it's going to be a super countryfied mix. But you get the idea of Nokia music, very similar in a lot of ways to Pandora. I can skip six times. On the free version, there's a paid version as well. But here you go, for example. And I can obviously play that. And then when I turn it off and back on, I've got the shortcuts to the music or the music area, and then of course, boom, got that. And I can pause it from the lock screen and resume what I'm doing. So multitasking, that was another question I had. You can see multitasking, press and hold the back button. Pretty easy, and it resumes relatively quickly. Keep it locked on PhoneDog.com for continuing coverage. I've got 10 more days with the Nokia Lumia 920. Hit me up with the pressing stuff you want to see covered. I'll do my absolute best to cover that for you because, hey, this series is all about you. It's all about helping you pick a device that works the best for you, and I'm hoping that these in-depth reviews, these in-depth 30 days, help a little bit more than a typical you know, 72 hour or 96 hour review. Let me know, I'm on Twitter at phone dog underscore Aaron, Facebook, facebook.com slash hi Aaron Baker, and on Google Plus at gplus.to slash phone dog. Thanks for watching, much more to come on phone dog.com. I'll see you next time.